हे वॉच वाइज एंड पेस्ट रेडी यार एंड वॉल कम बैक न्यू एलमेन थ्री डी एंड आफ्टर इफेक्ट ट्यूटोरियल सो इन टूडेज ट्यूटोरियल वी आर जस्ट गोइंग वर्क थ्रू ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट एंड मेक श्योर यू डाउनलोड दिस प्रोजेक्ट फाइल आई विल पुट द लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन सो यू कैन फॉलो अलॉन्ग विथ दिस बिकॉज दिस इज लिटिल बिट हैवी वर्क सो माई सिस्टम कैन नाट हैंडल सो आई विल नाट रिक्रिएटेड बट आई विल गो स्टेप बाई स्टेप एंड show you how i done this so this is the final render and i call this you can see i call this drag, drunk camera animation so basically this is a, a tunnel and a man is uh, moving very fast in drunk situation so this is the thought when i creating this but the movement is little bit fast but anyways the idea is there so you can see so pretty much good right so let's get started and make sure you have element 3d after effect and pro shaders and motion design 2 pack right so let's get started all right so first make a new composition uh, make a new solid and apply a I'm going to do effect and just go inside the scene setup and here I just add some motion to the in two models and made something like this and for this lights you can see here here and also here so for this I use a video copilot backlight collection and there you can find some single light and light arrays so you can create lights in scene light in your scene right so here you can see and i apply some pro shaders to textures right and I, if i just enable the reflection so it will look nice and you can play little bit more right so this is the just a basic scene i created with motion design 2 and just make all things in a group and put this group inside a new group and go to the symmetry mode and just apply in x direction so now we have like this right you can see my system is not working right now good so this is so whenever you create any scene and this this is not working good so you can just go here and set of the reflection so you can move little bit more faster and when you are going to full render you can just enable all things inside the main composition right so hit okay and here when you come here so go inside the group 1 particle replicator and i just apply a 3d grid and just put nine amount in g direction and just play with the position z and set scale 40 so uh, let me show you the, the position z is actually move the position of this model and the scale scale set scale is actually scale each parts each part it's mean which component we made a single object like this one so we, right now you have nine copies so this will just increase every nine copies so this will you can see so if you just increase the copies just like 13 so you will just move move this to make it good and my home is almost near the public road so here is too much noise and the traffic is also too much so just leave it all right so just enable the camera so in the camera i just choose 50 mm so it okay and the point of interest so if i press p and if i press a so when i this i just added a expression of point of interest and the expression is wiggle open bracket 0.7 comma 7t and close the bracket so this will create a uh, these types of movement you can see and 
uh, let me just switch to the preview mode so this is seen in preview mode so here is one more changes i done so go inside the physical environment and here by default one and one so i just uh, increase the gamma and decrease the exposure and i also change the light influence 63 and you can increase little bit more if you want so by default it's 25 i think by default it's 25 but i just increase it so when you increase it the scene will be a little bit dark so if i press 25 so let me show you what the result is just like this and the before result, before result is just like this and i also rotate the environment so the background white will be effect here so if i by default this will be like this it will be like this so you can see there is nothing lights coming from this area so that's why i just put 69 i think put zero like this so go to the ambient occlusion and here i just apply ambient occlusion in intensity 25 and the radius 4 so all done and i just duplicate the copy and this il this is a z depth without ambient occlusion and i just blend mode in a uh, add additive so this will so the result will be like this and after that i just apply a adjustment layer and this will be like this so the black point i just put a dark blue and this is something around yellow and orange and one more copy for the curse effect so if i solo this layer so you can see proper properly what the illumination so anytime if you want to create a separate copy so just go to the output and here is a multiple option so you can create a wireframe focus illumination reflection diffuse and metaclusion and all these things all right and after that i just apply a curves effect because without curves it looks like this so with curves i just key out this bright parts in this area and we need little bit this reflection so i just created the result just like this one and i apply a glow 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 three times glow and the result is like this so finally all done so go as uh, one step here and here i just created two black solid and just alpha inverted and in the final here I just simply add curves and a little bit color collection and the result is like this alright so I will put the project file link download link so you can download and do what you want and this is the thing what I done so uh, so leave a comment if you have any issue and if you want any tutorial so leave in a comment and just send me a reference what you want and i will do that due to electricity problem and some other stuff i did not make any tutorials from last few days but now i'm back and we will see you next time with a great tutorial so so thanks for watching my video thanks for loving me i am ns30 and we will see you next time with a great tutorial so that's it for now and we will see you next time